It's in City Hall and Mayor Marty Walsh. The captioned video of this news conference, as well as the text transcript online as soon as this conference is over today. Uh, I'm going to begin with the latest uh, COVID numbers in Massachusetts uh, that we have and in Boston. And these numbers are as of yesterday. Uh, we had 235 confirmed cases in Massachusetts, bringing the total to 123,139 confirmed cases. Uh, there were nine new deaths yesterday, bringing the total, for, uh, complete, uh, total deaths in Massachusetts to 9,010. Uh, Boston's numbers also from yesterday, we had 51 new cases, bringing our total to 16,245. Uh, we had two deaths over the weekend, uh, bringing our total deaths in Boston to 757. And as always, uh, thoughts and prayers go out to uh, the individuals and the families that are, that are suffering with COVID-19 and those of you that lost loved ones to the, this uh, horrible um, virus. Uh, trends for the week, the week of September 7th, the positive test rate um, in Boston is 1.6%, and that's down from 1.7% last week. Uh, the cumulative total since the very beginning of the pandemic, we're down to 7.9%. Emergency room and ICU numbers continue to remain very low. Um, it's one uh, illustration of how far we've come. Also, 90% of the deaths that we've had in the city of Boston occurred before uh, June 7th. Uh, testing overall, 2,700 Boston residents were tested every day on average last week, including uh, college students. Um, some of those areas I'm going to talk about now in East Boston, we, in the number of tests in East Boston, we really didn't have college students in that. It was mostly residents. Uh, in East Boston, as of September 7th, our seven-day positive test rate was 6.4 percent. That's slightly down from the week before and down from the 11.4 three weeks ago. So a lot of the work that our community outreach has been doing in expanding testing in response to the community certainly is in having an impact in East Boston, and, and we're seeing that number come down. Uh, the city's mobile testing site team remains in East Boston through Saturday in Central Square Park in Eastie. You can also go to the East Boston Health Center uh, to be tested. Uh, parts of Dorchester and Roxbury, the zip codes of 02121 and 02125, have a slightly elevated rate to 4.1%. We are monitoring those numbers um, in our COVID Health and Equities Task Force is discussing responses. That it's not quite at a place where uh, puts a big alarm on it, but we don't want to see that number go any, far, any much above 4.1%, so we're going to go back out there and continue to do work. Uh, we keep bringing resources to the neighborhoods and, and, and the communities that need them. Uh, testing access, uh, you can find a map and info at boston.gov slash coronavirus. That's anywhere in the city of Boston uh, if you want to find that. And actually yesterday I found in, in my maps app, uh, if you if you type in coronavirus testing, it'll pop up and it'll tell you where testing is in your neighborhood and you, if you have an iPhone. Uh, we also have information in multiple languages. Uh, free food and rental relief to residents, uh, for, and for PPE and signage to small businesses. So for anything that I just mentioned or any information you're looking for, you can visit boston.gov slash coronavirus or boston.gov slash reopening and get all that information. Um, and I'm grateful to everyone for playing a part in keeping us all safe. Uh, what we're doing continues to work, so I'm asking people, as I do at every press conference, let's keep it up. We want to continue to stay six feet from other people when you're walking or out in gatherings. Uh, we're asking you to wear a mask when you leave your house. We're asking people to continue to wash your hands as frequently as, as possible with soap and warm water. Um, we're asking you, to, again, to clean those frequently touched surfaces, whether it's your doorknobs in your home or, or your place of work or your car. Uh, if you operate a business, we're asking you to follow the guidelines and make sure that your employees and customers can follow them as well and it, make sure there's clear signage in, in the places of employment or in restaurants so, so people uh, momentarily forget about the world we're in, the kind of a reminder in front of you. Uh, if you're a college student, we're asking you to please follow the college guidelines. Uh, if you live um, in a large household uh, with either extra, with roommates or multi generate multi-generational family. We're asking you to be very careful as well in there, and that's where washing hands, wearing masks, and cleaning down surfaces, because as people go out and come back in, uh, if they touch the surface that uh, might have uh, the virus, you can bring it into the household. 
Uh, we're asking people again to please avoid large gatherings, and if you've been to a party or gathering any, of any kind, assume that you've been exposed to the virus, and we're asking you to get tested to protect yourself and your families. Uh, and this weekend, we got some calls, on, uh, police calls, 911 calls for large gatherings in different parts of the city of Boston, and I'm asking people to, uh, if you could cut back on those, it really is about protecting yourself, protecting your family, and protecting others, so um, we're asking you to stay very vigilant on that.